Hi, um, I'm back and I am doing just a little short um, haul on some nail polishes that I just purchased this week um, from Sally's Beauty Supply. Uh, Nina Ultra Pro. Um, I love them because of their brushes. Also, some of their colors are very pigmented. Not all of them, but some of my, you know, some are kind of liquidy. Um, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so definitely, I'm I'm rocking some pink probably every day this month. Uh, I did get a chance to pick up um, this um, Jiggy Pink which is a real nice pearl, pearlized pink. It's kind of watery, kind of liquidy. Um, love the brush though. As a professional cosmetologist, um, the size of the brush is everything because it takes me less time to do someone's nails when the brush is much wider. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so um, I'm not sure how the application is gonna be. I just wanted to kind of show you all some of the stuff that I got. Sally's has a sale going on right now. Anything on their clearance is half off. That's already reduced with the red ticket. So I got this. It was really supposed to be $1.49. She overcharged me at $4.99. And I think they're regularly like $5.79. So not a bad deal. And uh, my main line of polish that I really use is OPI. OPI is my my favorite and I buy every collection that comes out so I'm not really going to talk about um, the different collections because you can type in OPI and so many people have already done reviews on like the San Francisco collection, the Mariah Carey holiday collection, I have all of that. Um, I love the sand, the liquid sands and um, all the, the, the textures, every, uh, I just, OPI, I just thumbs up, love OPI. I wish the brushes was just a little bit wider and kind of shaped like um, the Ninas and um, who else? It's a, it's a couple other polishes. Um, but I also, for the first time, I brought Ninas, um, their diamond partner. I haven't tried it yet. Again, just something I purchased. Um, it's just a nail hardener. It's just a nail hardener. It's called Diamond. Wanted to get me a, a nice little nude um, polish, so I have um, Beja View, Beja View, which is by Nina Pro. And actually, Nina Pro this week, I mean this month, is on sale at Sally's for $2.99. Hence my reason for going to Sally's instead of the professional places that I normally go to um, because there's some good deals going on. Oh, they have a beautiful black. Just make sure that you put on a real good base coat um, or something like a bonder. Um, I love Orly's bonder. Uh, it's a rubberized kind of bonder because um, it, it tends to chip a little fast. But I have brought this, I have brought one the other day, so make sure you actually go through and check all your polishes. I buy so many polishes, it's hard for me to just like go through each polish that I purchased. So I purchased a polish yesterday and when I opened it up, it was, this was thick as glue. And the, the inside, the brush was hanging off hanging down off of it so I had to take it back today and it wasn't a great thing it was a great thing but it wasn't a great thing because it made me spend more money because I can't walk into a store without buying nail polish I can't I'm an addict <laughs> I'm a nail polish addict I seriously cannot walk into any store without buying nail polish but anyway the black is really really good it's a nice black I have blacks by almost man every major company that's out that you can think of um I just like black for some reason because I do a lot of nail stamping, so black is, is, is nice. This is a beautiful, beautiful, if you're into purple royalty, this is called Purple Zing. 
And again, this is by Nina Pro, and it's at, at Sally's Beauty Supply. Two ninety nine, you guys. Two ninety nine, and here's a real close up picture. It's a nice rich purple with, um, I want to say kind of like a holographic type uh, feel to it, as far as the different color. Uh, glitters that's in it. They have opalescent glitters. Um, it's a real beautiful purple. I like this. And that's it on my. That's it. Yeah, that's it on my 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 Nina. Okay. Um. I will be doing more and more videos. Um, I want to just be able to take time to give back to um, people because a lot of people on YouTube have given out so much information for me as a cosmetologist, as a nail tech. Um, I'm constantly learning, 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 uh, not just about um, you know the basic, um, the basics, you know, but nail artistry is what I, I'm really into. I'm really into nail art and I've learned a lot through a lot of people on here. Um, uh, I'll drop some names later um, of channels that you should go to. But I've learned a lot about water marbling, a lot of um, interesting techniques that people have, a lot of, just a lot of simple designs, a lot of uh, designs with the dotting tool that you can use um, everything so I'll be doing more and more videos so if you like um, real nice polishes I'm I have over 900 polishes uh, yes <laughs> I have over 900 polishes um, and I just started a decent little system and keeping them up um, and well, I'll show a picture of my nail station and, and my um, my um, polishes one day. But I will be doing videos, tutorials of some of the um, designs that I do and the polishes that I buy. You know, actually doing the swatches and everything. As a matter of fact, I have a swatch now. This is from the I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is from the holiday collection from. OPI to Mariah Carey. This is a few of the sands. Oh, and I don't think my lighting is going to allow that to happen. Well, it might. I can't name off all the names, but these are like the different textures. I love texture polish. And no, I would not, I would never put a top coat on a texture. I would not ruin it like that. Yes, I like high gloss colors when it's called for, I like for my, my polish to shine at times, you know, when it's, when I want it to shine, but when it's d d dealing with texture, I want to give it that raw, give it that texture, that look that it's supposed to have. So, um, my question to you all is, I, I am kind of like going through a thing where I have major, major, major amounts of OPI. I have a gazillion china glazes. Um, just now really getting into a lot of oilies. Um, I do have some, I mean, other brands. I, I have Simfo. I have, I mean, I, I go down, I have drugstore polishes as well. But what I want to know from you is what do you like? What type of polishes do you like? Between, um, even if it, it if it's just between um, maybe like say Orly, OPI, and China Glaze. Let's use those for instance. Um, give me the polishes, the polish lines that you like, or the polish line that you like, like say you like OPI, and the reason why. 
if you like OPI in the comment section um, why you would use OPI over the other two over Orly or China Glaze um, also let me know if I mean um, if you're a licensed if you're a professional or if you're just somebody who does been doing nails or buying you know nail polish for a long time or whatever let me know um, both is very important um, whether you're licensed or not um, I would like to know your feelings about the different ones I spent a tremendous amount of money invested a lot of money into that's and this is not even my main business it's my second business um, I design candles full-time and this is part-time um, but just yeah if you could let me know that that would be cool thank you sorry for babbling 